Ten years later, ten years later, and we are still baffled about all those dead whales turning up by the shiploads, confused about all those dead jellyfish, and all those dead carp, and all those dead seals along the Oregon coast, along the California coast, along the Alaskan coast. Perplexed about babies with four eyes and six kneecaps and stubby arms, like the lumps in our asses, and tits, and thighs. We think they will just someday, just magically go away. So we shit bricks about other things, inconsequential crap like Kanye West and Beyonce's nose job. Or Miss K's ass implants. We have found ingenious ways of coping with the threat of extinction, a collective and studied indifference to our imminent demise to Black Top Water in Flint, Michigan, and radioactive leaks in Tokyo. Perhaps we feel we deserve it. We do nothing but destroy everything we touch. So once again, as always, we lose ourselves in human dogfights between the left and the alt-right, between young men going their own way with shaved heads into third world whorehouses and Trump rallies, and fake feminists seeking liberation with Cardi B, cheap hair weaves and selling their ass on Instagram, just like their tired mothers and fathers did before them. Yesterday it was sex lies, coke videotape, cocktails, switchblades, and arcade games. Today it's your iPod and iPad, YouTube Nazis and ghetto gaggers, and Mr. Charlie's latest ruckus with Paris, with the cannibals of ISIS, and Ronald McDonald trumping Hitler in hideous bombast. Right behind Erdogan's stupid ass, Merkel's mishaps, and Obama's abominations. White versus black. Brown versus yellow. Red versus blue. Tiki Torch Nazi nerds. Harlem spooks eating ladies' eyeballs. COVID carousels in trashy parks. And capital chimp chip outs at the Reichstag. Africa is still sucking Europe's dick. Asia is still sucking America's ass. The Middle East is sucking shit. And Marine Le Pen thinks the Moors have made a comeback. Earth to humanity, up yours. Your one big floating disaster area. You are not down to Earth, let alone down to Earth. You're actually in outer space. Your collective minds are a disorderly universe filled with useless meteorites. The poison you have unleashed from your factories and power plants continues to spread like the plague, and all these goddamn dead fish, all these dead seals, dead whales, dead bears, dead babies, dead coral, dead flowers, dead deer, dead bees, dead trees keep on piling up. You walk, talk, eat shit, and fuck death. You have, you have accepted death into your life like a long-lost uncle. You pray to a dead god you invented to justify Hiroshima, Nagasaki, Bhopal, Chernobyl, Flint, Standing Rock, British Petroleum, Katrina, Fukushima, the fluoride in your water, and the rat shit in your bread, the cancer in your coke and the sores on your face. 
remain idiots at your own risk, dear readers of this poem. The water bugs will make it to heaven before you do.